this one will be a quick one, I think, relatively speaking. Yeah, been an interesting couple of days. Uh, yesterday, I had a van rehearsal. Slobbed out all day playing video games. Um, pretty good rehearsal, in all honesty. Probably one of the best we've ever sounded. So, looking forward to the next couple of gigs. Got a gig next Tuesday. And got a gig the Saturday. Right, the place where I had my first gig with them. So, hooray. We are at hand to our roots. As you'd think. Um, and today I worked my balls off. <laughs> um, so the theatre in which I work regularly hires its studio spaces out for public consumption. Public, you know, private hire, I guess. Um, and one of the groups that come in are a yoga group, and I, being asked to measure these studio spaces so that we had all of the details constantly on reference, um, burst in without realising they were in. Burst in. Pfft. Hi, guys! Nobody found it funny. Um, does it seem to be that the people who do yoga tend to be the most wound up? <laughs> There's got to be something to that. Um, so I measured some studio spaces. Oh, I did some other stuff, some phone call -y stuff. Played a bit of In Office Red Alert 2, the craziest fucking games I think I've ever played. Oh. Yeah. Did the tech for an amazingly technically complicated show. As in, I put the house lights up. And at the end of the show, bought them down again. I mean, they turned the house lights down and then bought them up at the end, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> no, what's a cool evening. Very cool day. Very chill, very relaxed, very job affirming, I think. It's the kind of day that lets me know that I'm doing my job well and right. Which is kind of a rarity in this day and age, because I always feel like I'm, I'm shit at my job and what I do. And every now and then I just, I have a day where I will coast straight through from start to finish and just hit every single mark exactly as I should. Which considering this morning I had the, just the worst start. I ripped straight through a pair of skinny jeans. I went to bend over to pick some change up off the floor in the bedroom and just pff, bum comes straight on through. And it's depressing because I could fit into those skinny jeans perfectly a year ago so I've put on fucking weight. Oh, I seem to think it's muscle but I seem to think there's a bit of podge in there somewhere and I just can't seem to work it off. I'm doing sit-ups sort of three, four times a week. Um, doing reps on the rowing machine four or five times a week. So 50 reps. Three times. And three reps and 20 push-ups and sit-ups. That's three times a week and it's not having any fucking effect yet. Probably because I'm eating garbage. I mean, January spent just eating just the worst. <laughs> I ended up quite terribly off for money because of it as well so this this time round we started off by buying some fresh fruit and some lovely cereals and healthy things and not healthy things because we can't afford health foods because we're too poor so I basically you know bought my regular load of shopping just without all of the shit you know so yeah it's Thursday tomorrow and it's another day off we're gonna make some music. Um, gonna do some Valentine's Day shopping. Valentine's Day is on Friday. I don't get to spend it with my wife. I'm working. But hey, we have award-winning comedian Joe Caulfield coming in. Yay! Is she award-winning? I don't know. She's funny. No, I don't mean that in a ha ha look at the comedian on stage sort of thing. She's if you ever get the chance to sit down and chat to her, she's just, oh, the best. <laughs> um, yeah, and then Saturday is when we actually do spend, you know, a celebration of Valentine's Day, I guess. 
no biggie. I'm going to have a nice meal Thursday night. I'm going to have a nice date night Saturday where we're going to have a DVD and some movies and some homemade popcorn and it's going to be boss. Our local cinema is shut since the flooding. <laughs> flooding just tore the doors off the place. So yeah, that's my life at the moment. Barely unremarkable. Um, what's a little less unremarkable though, and I will leave you with this because I'm balls tired, is that I have confirmed today that I can book in some recording studio time. The plan is that I'm going to take all of this with me. And we're going to go into a room now, and we're going to be able to store it away. We're going to have to put it in a couple of cupboards. We're going to be able to padlock them, and we're going to be the only ones with keys to them. The bass player of the band, or the guy who played bass on the Alien Head, Nico, is going to be my producer and engineer. At the end of each session, we're going to pack it all away and lock the doors and pretend like we were never there. It's going to be fucking sweet. It's gonna be good here, and then I'm gonna start filming again because making of videos get my rocks off. <laughs>